and Belarus can deploy nuclear forces. During the visit of the head of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation to Belarus, Sergei Shoigu and Andrei Ravkov touched on the topic of strategic military partnership between the two countries. It was mainly about the implementation of the plan of joint measures to ensure the military security of the Union state. The main question concerned the deployment of the U.S. military in Poland, in connection with which Belarus and Russia should take appropriate measures to ensure security. The plans of the Polish government to place on their permanent basis a division of the U.S. armed forces on their territory are counterproductive and not conducive to maintaining stability and strengthening regional security. Under these conditions, we are forced to take retaliatory measures and must be prepared to neutralize possible military threats in all directions," said Sergei Shoigu. Nevertheless, according to experts, tensions at the Belarusian border, as well as at the border of the Union state, will continue to grow, and therefore, nuclear weapons can be deployed on the territory of Belarus, however, this measure is extreme, and it will be implemented only when subject to strong military pressure from the West. The answer could be the transfer to Belarus of one or several brigades of Iskander tactical missile systems, which are used by the RF ground forces in the Western Military District, and perhaps in the Central Military District. At a speed of 70 km per hour with a power reserve of 1,000 km, in 12 to 15 hours, Iskander complexes from the territory of the Western Military District can arrive on the territory of Belarus on their own, and within a few tens of minutes can be prepared to fire. If this is not a temporary raid, but placement on a permanent basis, hangars will be needed to accommodate military equipment, repair zones will be needed, and most importantly, a barracks fund to accommodate personnel. The rest of the infrastructure in Belarus is present, which provides ample room for maneuver, said military expert Alexander Allison. Nevertheless, the likelihood that Belarus will go to such measures remains practically unrealistic, which is due to the intentions of this state to have partnership relations not only with Russia, but also with the West. Belarus is a peace-loving state, striving to stay detached, exclusively within its own interests. The authorities of this country are well aware that if nuclear weapons appear on the territory of Belarus, and the Iskanders have the ability to use nuclear warheads, then Western weapons will be aimed not only at Russia, but also at Belarus. The analyst avia.pro underlines.